Hello. In this video we're going to take a look at this Sony tape deck from the late 1990s. This, as most tape decks that I come across these days from that era, has the usual one belts or idler problem. Just to give you an example of what to look for, you turn it on, you'll hear that and it's actually managed to reset itself. But the first two whizzes were the actual mode wheel trying to turn to bring the heads back down because it wouldn't eject but now it will eject and there's a tape in there but if we just show you it's attempting to play but it's not been able to engage itself and now it's trying to reset and now you cannot eject it it's just the usual case of a deck from this age that the belts have worn if it was a Technics deck you've also got the issue of plastic gears which do tend to break but I'll cover that in another video so what we'll do is open this up there's five screws in total two on each side and one on the rear Plug it where at it, always an important thing to do. Now, on this generation of tape deck, they're very simple to actually service them. All you need to do is underneath, you've got a screw where the plastic molded feet are, two for the front panel, and two that hold the actual mech in place. Now we'll just take the case, put it off. All we need to do now is here is a plastic clip. We we'll simply pull that forwards and it pops off. Do the same on the other side and it's loose. The final thing you need to do is disconnect your cables. So there's one for the power supply, one for the power supply. And there's a nerfing screw as well, which I hadn't forgot to mention, which is just here. So that will now mean that the entire front panel and mech can be slid out. You'll see that the actual mech itself connects via direct connectors onto the board. These are just ancillaries for your display, control panel, buttons, etc. So using those two clips, we just pull. There we are. We do not need that piece. The belts actually look intact, but the clicking noise is the mode wheel here turning, but not having enough friction to actually reset the main gear down there. The first thing we want to do is remove that screw there. And there's a screw in the middle there. Now we need to remove that one. Some of them can be a little bit tight with age.
What you should be able to do now is just separate the two. And that belt is stuck well, pretty much as well. You can tell that they're warm because they're just very I'm trying to think of the right word. Tacky. They feel very sticky. They haven't actually dissolved yet. You do find on these decks that quite a lot of them disintegrate. So we're now ready to put our new belts on. We have two belts to fit on this machine. You have the mode select. And then you find that you put that underneath the plastic tab there and then pull it forwards onto the pulley it can be a little bit fiddly because I'll just show you in a moment so we pull it round and then you have two little points here that you can just rest the belt on when you put your new belt on you just run it around the pulley underneath and then put it onto these two points here to hold it in place for when you assemble One thing to take note, when you put the, the belt back on here is make sure that this is in this position here you should find it will only go as far as that way and as far as that way by being stopped by that stopper there and this stopper here with that spring what you'll find when the deck's failed or someone else had a go at repairing the decks is that these get knocked and the whole head is round there instead and swings round on this axis instead of this part and that's why the decks don't work. One thing to point out is you should always make sure that the deck is in that position. You should hear a click and it should be quite tight. If you do that rather than having it in a different position everything will be fine. So now we need to fit our new drive belt. As you can see this one is as it should be. So all you do is loop it around the flywheel and onto across these three points here. And that's all you need to do. Then it's just simply a case of locate all parts back together. And if you remember earlier in the video I mentioned about the tabs. So you line that up. If you remember I mentioned about these tabs here that locate as you can see they are located and then you simply pull the two together there will be a little bit of resistance and you have to line up a central uh, everything once you've lined that pin up which is in the centre by the other belt and we'll drop into place just like so. So now we just put the screws back in, which were removed earlier. You have your one from there. You have your central pin. And the one from the mount there. This one does need to be very tight because it's the earth and screw for the motor. If you don't get a nice tight fix on these, you get a hum. It's just drop your belt. Like so. And again, we need to do the same for the capstan. Just pull it. And there we are, just give it a little push, check it's free moving and that the mech is in the correct position, which it is, it's in the home position, which you saw me do earlier when I pushed the wheel. So now we'll put the deck back together. 
Just move these cables out of the way. Do try not to trap them as you put them back in. As the full feet are on the front, you simply slide the metal case into these little notches. There's a notch there above that wheel. Uh, foot, sorry, and there's a notch there above that foot. Here we go. You'll hear the front panel clip back into place on both ends. So what you can do now is either put screws back in or the cables. We'll put the cables back in first. And don't forget to put your F tab in because otherwise, as mentioned before, you'll have a lovely hum when you try to play back tapes. Just pop the lid back on. Again, it was five screws we took out, so it's five screws we need to put back in. Two on either side and one on the rear. We just need to put the screws back underneath and then we're good to go. And there's six of these in total. So here's the completed deck. The heads and the azimuth have been checked. Everything set up as it should be. Heads clean, pinch roller etc all cleaned. General clean of the actual unit. As you can see it looks a lot better than it did earlier. If we just put our test tape in, as you can see, everything running as it should. You'll find that this transport on this deck is very similar to a lot of the other Sony models of this age. Um, most of the basic to mid range models, including the twin decks, have the same sort of mech. So you shouldn't have any problems changing them, it's just obviously you have two to change rather than one. I will be putting up future videos showing how to do other Sony models which are a bit more complex such as the head machines, the motor ones and so on, as well as Technics and Nakamichi and other models. Well I hope you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.